Welcome to the screencast where I'll show teachers how to create a shared folder. This is a folder that students can access with a link. You put it on your teacher website, you email it to them, and they can get to whatever files you have in that folder. So we're calling this a teacher shared folder. Here I'm in my teacher account. In this example we're going to say that I teach a new media class. So I've already got in my drive, I've got a new media folder where I've been keeping files or creating files for my class. I want to make a folder that students can access. So this is how that process works. I'm going to go back and click on my drive. I'm going to click create folder and please name it this way. Name it with your teacher name followed by a space, the class you teach and it might have a space in there and that's fine, followed by a space and then files. So three parts, teacher name, class, files. The reason for that is when this folder appears in student accounts the students will know what that folder is. So I'm going to click create so here's that folder. It's nothing in it right now. I'm going to go back to New Media. I'm going to check off some files from here that I want my students to be able to see. So I've checked a few items. I'm going to go up and click the Organize button. Now here's a trick. If I were to go and just click on another folder, you see there's only one check allowed at a time. Well, these files are already organized in my New Media folder. Those are files for me. I want to make it so that they also appear in this Kafka New Media Files folder, which will be for my students. So here's the trick to do that. If you hold down on the Mac the Command key, or on the Windows machine, if you hold down the Control key and you click Other Folders, you can add files to show up in more than one folder. So like I said, I just want them to appear in both of these two. So I've done that. I hit Apply Changes. So now when I click on Kafka New Media Files, I'll see these are the files I want my students to be able to see. It also says here they also appear for me in this brown new media folder. So that's just little markings there that, that tell you where the, the files are assigned to. I need to set the sharing rights for this file. I'm going to mouse over the folder. I'm sorry, the folder, not the file. I'm going to mouse over the folder. Click on the little option arrow and go to share. Share again. And I'm going to change this from private to anyone with the link. And I'm just making it so any students or anyone that clicks on this link can view what's in that folder. And that's important to know. If you you don't want to put anything in there that uh, anyone can stumble on. You know, if it's just copies of notes, agendas, um, rubrics, things that you want your students to be able to access, that's good. But don't put any confidential information in there. I click Save. So now it says that this is the link to this folder. So I'm going to copy this, either using my shortcuts of Command or Control C, or I can go up to Edit Copy or Copy URL, whatever the choice is, depending on the browser that you're working in. I'm going to hit Done. So now I've got the link to that. I could email that link to my students. Maybe I made a contact group and I send it out and say, here's a, here's a link to my folder. That's one way to get the link to the students. Another way is if you have a teacher web page. So here's an example web page I was putting together. I've got a class calendar. I started putting uh, some items here on the right side. I want to link up this text that says Mr. Kafka's files folder. I want to link that so when the students click it, it will take them to that folder. So I'm going to highlight this go to the link button. I want to link up a web address and this is where I paste the link to my folder. I also, when I work in Google Sites, I tend to check this box so this opens it in a new window so the, the students don't lose their way away from my web page. I hit OK. I could also, I put this little clip art here, if I wanted to, I could click on the clip art and I could link up the little folder so if you like that visualness of somebody clicking on a folder to go to something, you could do that as well. You don't have to, just an option. And this link will work on any site. Maybe you're not using a Google site. Maybe you're using Moodle. You could link this up in Moodle. You could link this up in Wikispaces, wherever, wherever, wherever you're publishing your stuff online so students can get to it. So now let's take a look at what this looks like for the student. I'm going to open a completely new window. I'm going to navigate to the teacher web page here. So here's the link. So user comes here, clicks on the link. This is what they see. This is the folder. The folder shows up like this, which I really enjoy this view because you can see little snapshots of each file. You also see the files listed here on the left side. Notice right now that, you're, that this user, we're pretending I'm a student, is not signed in, but you can sign in. If a student signs into their Google account, and I'll do that here really quick. If a student signs into their Google account, now you have a bunch of options what you can do. And this is good to show to students. Being signed in, your name appears in the top right. As a student, if I click this little folder 
right here, I can say that I want to save this now to my Google Drive. So I'm going to click on my drive so it's checked. I'm going to hit apply changes. So now I've just saved my teacher's folder of resources that they've shared to me into the my drive area. So if I go into my drive, here is the folder. Again, I'm logged in as the student. Here's Kafka New Media Files, and here are the different files that Mr. Kafka has shared to me. So this is a great way uh, to share files to students if you understand the file management of Google Docs, Google Drive. Um, definitely show this to your students the first time you set it up. Maybe walk through them, th walk through it with them, uh, show these videos, and, and hopefully that will help. So just a great way to share resources. Thanks so much for watching.